Continuing our trip from Alibag to no. Janjira, we have already seen right. We made a plan to move to the next spot, but where is that spot? So that was the biggest question in my mind because rest of the troop they just want to be in a nice spot, but they don't have any inputs on where to go next, and everything fell upon my head, right? And I mean the margins were very thin. You either land up in a very nice spot. Or you would land up at a place where the rest of the troop would be completely disappointed. Anyway, I don't, I didn't have much of a clue. I was searching for places in Lonavala, Kandala, and the other popular places around, but I was not getting anything because I mean everything was completely booked due to this extended weekend. So in this video, na, you will get lots of the routes that I had taken. given that we didn't have any clue of where we'll be going to spend the night right so i just literally zoomed google maps and tried to find the highest locations around this area i mean this western ghats part of western ghats around pune so the place that i finally found was tamhini ghat it had a ghat section it also had a large lake and i hoped that i would find a place to stay nearby the entire section of the road i mean after you pass like 30 40 kilometers from ali bag is like this i mean this is the view that you will be getting throughout the journey after clicking these videos i went through multiple times on what to keep and what to delete i mean just see i mean if you are a fan of waterfalls this is the trip that you must take in the monsoons at each and every nook and corner of this road you can see waterfalls of varying sizes so this was one of those that seemed to be a big one so i just parked my car and went out for a small glimpse of what lay in front of us
into red, red, brown, blue, cut, cut, car, cut, cut, car. This place where we have stopped now is the main waterfall of Tamhini Ghat. This is supposed to be the largest waterfall of this area, largest accessible waterfall. So there is a small trail of around 200 meters which leads directly into the waterfall. So you can already see these folks who have gone there in their <laughs> in the way so that they can take a dip into the waterfall. So I mean I had already taken it dip in the waterfall right at Alibag in the morning so and I was also a bit drenched so didn't actually took a dip but yeah uh, I walked through the water still some extent to come closer to the waterfall and get a better view of what it was but soon you could see right uh, let me just point <coughs> my camera towards the waterfall there you can see a lot of folks have already walked up to the main spots you can actually walk up the waterfall you know the 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 stones and the boulders are arranged in such a way that you can just climb a pretty high up into the waterfall without a lot of efforts you can see there right the folks are taking they're taking baths purifying themselves right at the source of whatever the water is coming from so it's pretty accessible. Enjoy the music and enjoy the trip. We will continue further into the visual orgasms that would be coming up for you. So by the time we left Tamini waterfall, it was getting a bit dark and the rest of the folks in the car were getting a bit concerned on where to stay. I was in seventh cloud at that moment with all these fogs covering the car from all around, all this pure and clean air and the chilling winds that were touching my wrists. But then... <laughs> Yeah, I was not alone so anyway I started looking for a place to stay finally so there were multiple small homestays and shacks that we were able to find on the roads around that region but all were full so there was no space at all left and at this point of time it also started to rain quite heavily but then we kept on moving forward without finding a place to stay just enjoy the route. I mean, you will get some great and spectacular views. 
we'll have something at the end of the day don't worry about that We did move towards this route for a homestay called JB Cottages, but there were no rooms available there. Anyway, I mean we travelled towards Mulshi, which was the main town in this area, and it was quite dark by the time we reached. So quickly we checked into our rooms, and the rooms were good. The family was happy. <laughs> they were much more happier compared to what they felt when we stayed at the container homes. So I cooked the meal that day. It was plain dal and some boiled eggs with potatoes, mashed eggs and potatoes. And they are me asking my father if he liked it or not. And he really liked it. So as it was quite dark when we reached there, we didn't click a lot of videos in that place. We just have a couple of photos only. So there was this small shack outside the homestay where me and Olivia spent some time later in the night. And yeah, that's all. So that's us in the morning. My little dust to trying to feed me with the cookies. And you can see, right? This was a cozy little place, and the family loved it. So soon, I think at around 11:30 or 12 in the morning, we started from Mulshi. Again, without a clue in our mind where the next location would be. It was almost like we had crossed the entirety of the mini cart, and we were sort of proceeding towards Pune when I just had this hunch coming to my mind that yes, I had visited Lavasa long back, like almost nine years back in 2013. Uh, not exactly 13, 20, uh, 14 or 15. Yeah, somewhere in the 2014 or 15. And I had visited during the winters and I wanted to visit in the summers also. So without having much of an expectation, we started towards Lavasa. And this is a place somewhere between Pune and Lavasa. We were a bit hungry also by this time and wanted to have some good food. So we stopped at this hotel called Hotel Nisarg. And we were expecting that we will get something like Puri Sabji there. But to my surprise, my father started talking to the hotel folks in Bengali. So it was being run by a group of Bengali people. I don't know whether they were a family or friends or whatever, but they were running this place. And this also had a <laughs> Sastawala viewpoint and some shacks built in where you can 
spend some time have your food there enjoying the super view of Pune and the valley till Pune from here and you also have these small shacks I mean all this time I was missing my cousin Nihal so much I mean he would have loved this place if it were left to him and me we would have straight away started living here for, <laughs> for a week because this place was dirt cheap a night here cost like 300-400 bucks I could have spent the entire month relishing the view enjoying the rain and having this superb awesome meal that the Bengali cooks were cooking I mean I'm sure they would have let me also to cook if I wanted to so yeah enjoy the views just told you right now right that the hotel was a Bengali one and <laughs> by our good fortune they had brought some fresh rohu fish there and they cooked us a hearty meal we were so content by whatever we were being fed there anyway after that meal we started off and this is I think the Tengar Dam I'm not sure about the name whether I'm uh, whatever I am telling is correct. This is a Tinder Dam.
we reached the entry check post to Lavasa at around 5 in the evening whatever resorts or hotels I had checked online everything was showing completely booked so there was no option left but to go to the horse's mouth and then hear from the horse itself so without any clue or anything that I had confirmed we start straight away got our tickets for Lavasa and made our entry into the best planned city and the biggest city project that has ever been taken up in India's history so just to make the memory we got down from the car at the gates and clicked a few videos so that it becomes a memory that we had come here when things were still on the dark on what will happen to this city's future see you again in my detailed video of Lavasa because we ended up getting a villa and staying there thank you please like and subscribe